In this video, I'm going to make a little book uh, of butterflies. So I've cut out all these butterfly shapes. I've got four pieces. They're all different sizes and shapes. I'm going to start with the bigger one at the back and then gradually come forward with the smaller ones. I've had a lot of fun designing these. So they all sit together like that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to decorate them. So first of all, I'm going to put some gesso and then some stamping. They're all gessoed now and I've added to the front cover some book pages as well to reinforce it slightly and also for a bit of extra texture. So now I'm going to do the stamping. So here they are stamped. I've gone over them. I've added a bit of variety to each one is different. And of course, I've done both sides. So now I'm going to be able to apply the paint. Here they are painted. Two are blue, one is green and one is pink. I've done both sides again. And I've done the same method I did on my book pages in my last video. If you want to go back and have a look and see how I did that. I'm going to now go in and add some stenciling. So here they are with a bit of stenciling added onto the wings for a bit of interest. And I've done it on both sides of course. And I've used different stencils. Doesn't show so much on that little one. But you can see where I've put them on this one. I do like that effect. Kind of replicates those butterflies that have eyes on their wings. Now I'm going to write on each of the wings, just through a bit of asemic writing, nothing uh, that makes sense. And I'm using the very quite 1.3, I think it is, millimetre bullet nib Posca pen. And I'm doing that on both sides of each butterfly. And now with a bone folder, I'm just going to score down the centre so I can fold the pages over. And I do that with each butterfly. What I've decided they need now is a little bit of edging. So I've got some of my um, System 3 Dale Rowney gold. I'm just going to brush it alongside the edges like this. And I'm doing it, I do it on both sides and I do it on every single butterfly. I'm bringing it closer to the camera so you can see the technique I use. It just leaves a nice edge. I do like that. And of course, I repeat that with each butterfly. Now I'm going to bind them all together. So I've got my book binding tools out and this is my all. I'm just going to make two holes and tie the string so that the knot is on the outside. I've just used a clip there to hold it in place. Just making the holes a little bit bigger so I can get the needle through comfortably. And I'm just using embroidery thread. The acrylic on the pages is rather sticky so I'm going over with some shoe wax, clear shoe polish. And the wax prevents the pages from sticking together. This is something I prefer to do rather than using other mediums. I do love the smell as well. <laughs> Basically with the cloth. I just rub it on the surface of each page and I do both sides on every butterfly. Now I've added some beads and some danglies and some words. It says butterflies are not insects. They are self-propelled flowers. And that's going to be tucked inside my insect book. I'm not quite sure what page in yet, but I will figure it out at some stage. <laughs> I love having these sort of things inside a book or a journal. It makes it fun to discover exciting things inside the pages. So for now, I'm just going to clip it onto one of the blank pages, which I shall work in later. That's progress so far, beginning to chunk up now. Love it. I love finding this in there, that's so great. I've been wanting to do this ever since I started this and it's been such fun. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button if you've enjoyed this video. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the little book. Um, and if you're interested, I have some stencils and things available in my Etsy shop. And I also have a Patreon for people who would like to support this channel. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.